What's going on guys? Welcome back to another uh, Dragon Ball The Breaker Season 4 slash first anniversary video. And um, I didn't think I'd have to make another video uh, about this topic, but unfortunately I do because uh, things have not gotten better um, at all, actually. I really can't tell if the maintenance has actually approved anything. And the worst thing about, about the situation is it doesn't really seem, at least to me, I don't know about you guys, that they care. And I'm going to show you why I feel that way. I had to turn off the anniversary mu music, bro. It's too happy and too peppy for this uh, type of video, right? So if we go over and look at the Dragon Ball's official Twitter page, this is what they're tweeting about, by the way. Tweeting out season two, uh, by the anniversary, like uh, season four, survivors can set. Like, no mentioning of how the servers are right now, no mentioning of maintenance, no mentioning of, not even an acknowledgement of how the game currently is in its current state. And then again, um, hours before this, uh, season four, I think this might even be, oh no, it's a different post. This is specifically for season four. Um, this one is the bundle that has like all the uh, skins from season two to four. This one is specifically for season four. And then they post the roadmap, which is cool. And I, I am grateful for this. I, I appreciate them communicating at least what they plan on doing for the rest of the season to us. I do appreciate that. But it is a little disheartening seeing them just ag as if business as usual bro they're acting as if it's business as usual why are they saying hang in there with a new power when we can't even play the game why are they showing off um skills on the anniversary banner when we can't even play the game they're showing all these banners all this cool stuff but we can't play the game guys like when was the last time they acknowledged it's it's november 5th i'm recording this they have not acknowledged that the game has been in a bad state since november 3rd and look how many tweets they have made since they say conclusion of temporary maintenance notice uh yeah that's when the emergency maintenance is concluded then they said we are currently experiencing a problem on some platforms that prevents players from joining other players rooms this is still not fixed by the way bro this is still not fixed you still can't join your friends rooms you still can't do that and then we sincerely apologize for the inconvenience and ask for your patience listen i'm patient but i would at least expect updates at least a singular update every day and they have not done that bro november uh, 3rd they continue to post as usual which is fine because you know to give them the benefit of the doubt they did at least give some acknowledgement to the situation and then on november 4th where's november 4th they post a lot on november 3rd actually on november 4th they posted about nothing regarding the situation just did some like general posts and then for the fifth they did um these posts. So they have not acknowledged the situation in any capacity. I think the Japanese Twitter actually did make an acknowledgement, but why is the Japanese Twitter being the only one that mentioned anything? They mentioned something yesterday. They said, we are currently experiencing a problem on certain platforms that causes frequent communication errors with matchmaking servers. I think in their defense, this has kind of died down. I really haven't been kicked out of the server recently as of late, but this was a massive issue that I showed you guys in the uh, previous video of me discussing like the state of the game. We have just implemented an emergency fix for, uh, for this error and have confirmed that the situation has been improved. Thank you for your patience and understanding. Let's see what people are saying, man, in regards to <laughs> CD Johnny playing. Why the heck you lying, bro? Game is still broken. I've been trying all day. This guy's been in survivor queue for a hundred sec um, seconds, I wish. A hundred minutes, bro. That's ridiculous. Survivor queue? Survivor queue, dude. It doesn't help. This is Raider Q, 100 minutes. It's it's it clearly, clearly, it has not been getting better. And I think what's been most so bothering me is the lack of acknowledgement of the issue. But let me show you guys on this clip that happened to me. Uh, my last Raider game was atrocious. So I think I'm going to actually uh, spoil you guys one of the Broly skins. But, you know, it is what it is. So in this match, I um, got Broly and I was doing my thing, cooking up a storm as I normally do. And then they got the super transfer. Uh, let me fast forward ahead a bit so you guys can see. There's a, a bug. Okay, yeah. So they got the super transfer and watch what happens next. I get a white screen. I'm like, bro, just. You hear that? That's the entire lobby getting DC'd from the match. The entire lobby getting DC'd from the match. Three players remain, but you'll see that they're frozen. They're literally frozen. I can get juice off of them, but they're not here. They're not here. The whole lobby's been booted. The whole lobby has been booted from this game. 
I've never, like, imagine sitting in Raider queue for like a half hour or longer, getting your match, and then having this experience on Survivor side or Raider side. Like, this is unfortunate. Like, especially for Raider. So, I basically got cucked out of my match. I got to play for what? Three and a half minutes? Connection to the last guest has been lost. I've never seen this in my entire life playing this game. This is the first time I've ever seen that message. So I guess you guys get to see uh, what it looks like when you win as Broly as a Super Saiyan and not full power. Whoa, epic. So clearly the game is still in a bad state right now. It's um, the big thing I want to talk about and the reason why this is scary is because as you guys know, crossplay is being worked on. Crossplay is currently in development, right? But the reason why things are kind of scary is because the game is being free to play for PlayStation uh, this coming Tuesday. Uh, let me show you guys that in a sec. So if you guys don't know, um, the game, Dragon Ball The Breakers, is actually going to become, you know, as free to play as it's ever been uh, via PS Plus for the month. So if you guys have never purchased, bra uh, I'll say Bragging Draw The Breakers, Dragon Ball The Breakers, uh, you can get it for free via PS Plus. Uh, you're going to need PS Plus to play online anyway, so if you didn't want to buy the game, now you can get it for free. Uh, all you have to do is add it to your library, and for as long as you have PS Plus, you will keep it, right? But the issue is the game is in a terrible state right now. So if you guys don't know, it is incredibly, 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 incredibly expensive to implement crossplay, and it is incredibly, incredibly expensive for games to appear on the PS Plus uh, free month list. The reason why it is, is because it's exposure and it's the game is available for free. That's how games like Rocket League blew up. That's how games like Fall Guys blew up. That's not entirely why those games blew up. I'm not gonna act like PS Plus is the only reason why those games were successful. That's not what I'm trying to say. But I will say that PS Plus was a fundamental part of those games being successful. Rocket League was exposed to so many players because it was free on PS Plus and PlayStation was such a dominant console at that time. And you can still argue that it is, right? Same thing with Fall Guys. And for Dragon Ball The Breakers, this is the opportunity for the game to be shown to new players for free, right? But if the game isn't working, if the, you can't find matches, if people are getting kicked out the server, then not only is that bad for like, you know, the game reaching new players, it's, I, I am worried for the future of the game because of the money and the investment that it takes. Crossplay is not cheap. Look it up what Sony does for games that want to be cross uh, compatible, right? Sony actually charges specifically. Nintendo is cool. Steam is cool. Xbox is cool for some reason. PlayStation is a little money hungry when it comes to that. And for games appearing on PS Plus, they also charge. It's not free. They're not like, oh yeah, dude, just make your game free. We don't care. No, bro, you got to buy that. So look at that from Bandai's perspective, right? They're getting cooked on the first anniversary. Unfortunately, I, I, would, I would consider the first anniversary a success from a content perspective. But from a player's perspective, actually being able to play the game, it is a massive flop. A massive flop. We can't play the game. We can't play it. So imagine that from Bandai's perspective. Nobody can play the anniversary. Um, Crossplay is monstrously expensive. Uh, putting the game free on PS Plus is expensive. If people can't play the game, if they don't see like a positive like net outcome out of this, Bandai might start like saying, "Listen, Breakers, we did. We we gave you crossplay. We made your game free on PS Plus. What else can we do?" And they might start backing off. I don't know. I'm not trying to say it's doomsday. I'm not trying to say like our days are numbered, but I'm just saying time is running out. Okay. This game is going to be free on PS plus Tuesday, Tuesday. I don't know when this video is going up. It could go up uh, tomorrow on Monday so that we might have only one day left, but I hope they give an announcement or an update soon because this game is going to be free very soon. If it's not working, well, we could get, potentially get thousands, hundreds of thousands potentially because the PlayStation community is huge, massive and nobody can play the game that is bad listen the dragon ball ip is a popular ip actually let me see dude i'm sorry i'm rambling here but i'm very curious to see where i'm at for <sighs> so if you guys don't know a lot of these discussions videos that i've been recording this isn't a mean this isn't like to poke fun at like breakers i dead ass have so much time to wait in raider queue I can record like two, like one to two videos sitting in Raider Queue because that's how long it takes. And sometimes it doesn't even matter if I wait 100 minutes, it still won't matter. Like, I don't know what the meta is with Raider Queue. I don't know if it's like the sweet spot is 15 to 30 minutes and you don't get players reset. I don't know. Like some of you guys had asked me like, how are you getting games? 
I'm just getting lucky, guys. I'm just getting lucky. I, I don't have the secret sauce. I swear to you, I don't. Uh, I did see uh, Demon Boy, which is our resident uh, leaker and data miner for Dragon Ball Breakers, make comments of what he thinks is the problem. And, you know, for him, like, digging the files, understanding the game, like, how it works from that perspective, I would, you know, say he's a pretty credible source to understanding the problem. So I do want to see his comments and see what you guys think about it as well. So here we have um, Demon Boy and the Will of D having a little bit of a back and forth. Both homies, so, like, I'm not trying to call anybody here, uh, you know, I love both of these guys to death, but uh, they're having a back and forth. So, um, Will of D is saying to get rid of Flex Q and keep Survivor only Q and uh, Raider only Q. And Demon Boy is saying, do people really think Flex is the issue here? That's pretty funny. And um, Will of D explains his um, stance here. And he's basically saying that, uh, you know, giving his take on Flex. And it seems like, based on what he's saying, that. <laughs> Uh, Demon Boy thinks that he's incorrect here. I'm not going to read everything word for word here, but I just want to, I'm just curious to see what Demon Boy is saying here. Um, so he's saying Raider only has complete priority over Flex. That's it. That part is fine. Which isn't fine is a Flex player with 15 plus priority being constantly matched with people in Raider only. Raider only should look for Survivor only players first, then fill in the rest with Flex if needed if they have a low priority number. So, uh, Zed or Zed is saying here, that makes sense. How would you explain the fact that sometimes you just can't find a Raider for your match? Too many requests at, uh, once for Raider Q. Yeah, Dragon Ball the Breakers, uh, eight, um, seven survivors, one Raider. So the game needs there to be, uh, seven times the number of survivors and Raiders. And we all know that, that isn't the case right now. So, uh, Raider only constantly pulls flex players to get their matches, which creates the problem of never ending flex priority. Interesting. So, according to Demon Boy here, it seems like the issue with uh, the Q system is Raider Q. I, th I would assume that Raider Q pulls from Survivor and Flex Q to like make Ray Q Raider Q uh, function. But it seems like what's actually going on is that Raider only Q is uh, taking from Flex Q and people that have like high priorities aren't getting the Raider matches as a result. So, Ziad is saying, uh, I'm aware of the Flex Prior problem, I'm talking about the match is taking forever to find people when there's clearly enough people playing. Uh, then yeah, the issue is pretty much there's too many raiders. Long wait times are most certainly just waiting uh, for some survivors to become available. That and due to the high uh, due to the region-based matchmaking, getting matched up with someone from another region gives for uh, far longer wait times. That's the thing I don't get. Like I've had matches where we're seven at eight, waiting for a raider to join forever. You think there could be clashes with Raider Q itself since they all have the max priority the game doesn't know who to let in as a Raider or something? I don't think the issue is looking for a Raider, just for uh, survivors. When you start matchmaking, you will almost always get matched with one person in seconds. Uh, when playing with my friend, this has been too consistent for that one person to not be the Raider player. Interesting, let's see if they find a way to fix this without just removing Raider Q. Because uh, I remember Season 2, the Q times for Raider Q were long and also impossible to find a flex match. But Magic Bang or Roll didn't take this long. It was long, but not this long. It needed improving, but not thrown out. But they picked uh, to disable it for a while. So uh, what is your guys' take on this? I, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and act like I, do I know. Because I, I don't know. All right, I'm just going to cancel this queue, bro. It's, it's clearly not meant to be. But uh, I, I, I would like to live in a world where like these two queues work with this queue instead of making these two queues hell. Because that's what it seems like, because Raider Flex Q is actually pointless, right? If you actually want to play Raider, you have to do Raider uh, Q. If you want to play Survivor, I would suggest doing um, Survivor Q or, I guess, Flex Q. But I've had issues getting matches in both Survivor and Flex Q, so it's just really frustrating. But yeah, guys, it, this is just kind of me venting about the situation, just because, like, I I love this game, right? And I, and I hate, like, giving this game crap, but, like... I feel like it, it almost comes off disingenuous if you guys see me doing showcase after showcase, smiling, having fun, and not really talking about the underlying issue, which is the server problem, which is the queuing problem. I do want to make it, like, clear. I love this game, and I am having fun in my matches. I'm not, like, like acting it out or anything. I'm not, like, that, that's not fake, right? Like, I mean, a lot of this is me playing the characters for the first time, experiencing these things for the first time. And I think the content here is fine and fun. Like, I don't think anybody has any issues with the content. I mean, the only content-related issue I have, for me as a veteran player, uh, I know I am uh, like the 1% here, 
But like, imagine this on like Dragon Ball Legends or uh, Dokkan Battle, right? For the anniversary banners, these are just a collection of everything from season one to three. If you have everything from season one to three, these banners mean nothing to you. All they, all you're gonna get from these banners is spirit and spirit alone. I have wall kick. I pre-ordered the game. I have everything. Every single unit on this banner, every single skin, every single passive skill, every single active skill. I'm not trying to flex. I'm just saying for an anniversary banner, why is it a roundup banner? Like, I guess this is technically a first anniversary banner, but like, you can't even use the first anniversary tickets. Why can't I use my first anniversary tickets on this banner? Like, and to put it in perspective, imagine Dragon Ball Legends has its anniversary and it's like Super Baby 2 uh, LF, and it's like an Ultra Gogeta, right? Imagine like they introduce like these tickets and you can only use those tickets on a roundup banner of everything released prior. And for the new banners, you can only use this other form of Chrono Crystal. Like that'd be insane. The, the community would like, would have pitchforks to be like one of the beat up Toshi. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, it's just be ranting, but like the main issue here is the servers and then needing to get their act together because if this game comes for free on PS Plus and they do not fix any of this, then they essentially have wasted their chance. Because the game is not going to do better, it is probably going to do worse. And you know what? This could have been an opportunity to get new players to actually enjoy this game. All it's going to end up doing is getting new players to hate this game. And we already have enough of that already. But yeah, guys, um, that's just kind of the situation. Unfortunately, they really haven't given any updates on the Twitter. Um, the game is coming to PS Plus, and we haven't really seen any signs of improvement, significant improvement, um, anyways. And the game is getting crossplay, which is expensive. The PS Plus thing is expensive. I mean, I'll, I'll look it up just because I feel like you guys think I'm blowing, some of you might think I'm blowing smoke. I'm not, but I'm gonna look it up to, you know, back myself up. Okay, I couldn't find anything regarding uh, putting the game on PS Plus. It looks like Sony actually pays the developer or the publisher that puts the game on PS Plus. So, I mean, I, ima I imagine there's some like deal where like Bandai pays Sony, Sony pays Bandai. But anyways, uh, PC Gamer says, uh, just because I'm not, you know, pulling this out of my butt, Sony charges for cross-play support to protect PSN revenue uh, documents show. Uh, if you guys want to see the full amount, I'm not entirely sure if they listed here, but I just wanted to show you that it is a... Th oh, oh, that is interesting. Let me, let me look at this image. So yeah, this is just a picture of cross-platform revenue share. So yeah, like Sony is kind of like grabbing like devs by the balls by like enacting crossplay. So it, it is like something that is concerning just because if Bandai is making a huge investment with crossplay for breakers, a huge investment for playing the game on PS Plus, and like this anniversary isn't a success. I don't know. It just makes me nervous, guys. It just makes me nervous. But anyways, that's the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below your thoughts. Uh, you know, if you think I'm like, you know, in panic mode, if I'm like overthinking things regarding the PS Plus slash crossplay situation, uh, has the game been improved for you server wide? Uh, for me personally, it hasn't. But uh, if you have any suggestions, have any like workarounds to get into matches, by all means, let us know because I mean, <laughs> I, I sure as hell don't have anything. But yeah, guys, that's the video. Uh, Legal Live, you enjoyed it. Um, comment down below again. Subscribe to Arcane Channel for more Drive the Breakers news. Uh, updates, showcases, all the good stuff. I'll catch y'all the next one. Take care, stay safe, have fun. Peace out, and good luck getting in games, boys.